everybody. I'm Randy Grant. I am a producer, guitar player. As you can see, we're here. we are in my studio, which is uh, the second time we filmed Very nice studio. Thank you. We're, we're going to change it up a little bit and start doing it here for a while. Uh, I am an addictions counselor at uh, Colmac. I'm in recovery, and they call me Rock. All right, Randy. Hey. I'm Tony Massey. I'm a psychiatrist and addiction medicine specialist, also at Colmac, and um, sometimes people call me Doc. This is Rock and Doc. Rock and Doc. Makes All sense. Right. <laughs> so what, what do we have? What's happening today? We, we got another, another question. Yeah. We got another question. So let me, let me just read it off and we'll see where it goes. Okay. All right. Rock and Doc. <clears throat> My friend is finally clean. She goes to meetings and says she's got a sponsor and all that stuff. I'm writing because I'm very concerned about her and how she's representing herself on Facebook. Mm. Oh. Oversharing. Oh, I'm sorry, I should stop. I won't talk. How, did you read this? <laughs> no, I'm familiar with the problem. <laughs> well, she, ta <laughs> she talks about her recovery as if everyone will understand. She's tagging me and other friends mm. on these posts that refer to her prior drug use and crazy exploits. I don't want to hurt her feelings because she's very fragile. Uh, however, I don't want to be associated with these things, and I'm concerned mm. about her future opportunities. Wow. What should I do? Brenda. All right, Brenda. Well, Brenda, I mean, we, we should pick this apart maybe a little bit because there's a, there's a few things going on here. There's some some multi-level uh, mm -hmm. questions, right? Yeah. Um, sounds like her friend's early in recovery. Right. She's very. Uh, I, I mean, this is not the way it sounds, but promiscuous sharing, not meaning in the sexual way, but just you know, no real you know parameters. She's Fil just no, talking no. No filter. Right, like no filter, a, just a prefrontal cortex. Kind of <laughs> right. thing, so. If I think it, I'm saying it yep. online, where it lives forever. <laughs> so she's got some some That's legitimate right. concerns about Brenda, I mean about her friend, but my my concern is is uh, we can't talk really about her friend. We can really talk about Brenda, because Brenda sounds like she's the one that has the problem here. Well, Brenda has concerns and is concerned and worried and anxiety and yeah. kind of all wrapped up in things. Her friend might not care at all. Her friend might be just like, this is great. So Brenda's <laughs> the one with the anxiety and, and the Duh. the issue. So what do you what do you make of that? Uh, it, well, you know, it, it's, it sounds like it's a very, very classic sort of maybe enmeshed relationship where one person is an addict and the other person maybe not, uh, maybe Brenda isn't. Maybe Brenda doesn't quite understand uh, mm -hmm. the process of, of recovery mm -hmm. and, and, you know, have, what people go through. Uh, but I would I would say maybe we should talk with Brenda about ways that she could you know maybe disconnect, support herself, uh, support herself, disconnect from her friend, and just take care of, of yourself, Brenda. Yeah, you know. Yeah, sometimes we talk about boundaries, but that's really we don't set boundaries with other people. <laughs> it, those are rules or whatever. Boundaries are what we you know allow ourselves or don't allow ourselves. So, right. You know. So I think that Brenda is talking about the need for this boundary that she sets regarding her relationship with uh, her friend. But Brenda is allowing her friend to post on her page. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I would do, Brenda, is I would I would put a block, or just you know set your you set your uh, mm -hmm. unfollow. I guess mm -hmm. if you unfollow her, or th there's got to be a way in Facebook to change privacy where you just don't let certain people post on your page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? change the privacy settings. Yeah, I think that's exactly right. So if she, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's kinda... it, yeah. Well, and I mean, there there there's uh, I think there's a real um, issue with social media and um, how people, particularly in early recovery, kind of broadcast things. They do. I think they do um, think everyone yeah. understands. Yeah, and, and the, the fact is that there's, there's a stigma to uh, addiction. And I, it, the stigma may belong more, if it belongs at all, it may belong more in kind of the active addiction. But when someone's in recovery, mm -hmm. I, don't, I think it's misplaced, but it exists nonetheless. And they use terminology in, in NA, especially, mm -hmm. and it, well, AA as well, where they, you know, you, you would call yourself, hi, I'm Rennie, I'm an addict. Mm -hmm. And if I don't know, you know, that vernacular, I'm going to think that maybe I'm still using it. Still using it, you know, yeah. or, or something like that. Yeah, and this can impact... Um, you know, jobs, as I tell you, a lot of employers, mm. will, you know, kind of do, they do. A scan around oh, yeah. and see, what, see what's out there about somebody, and it, it lasts forever. It does, and that's the yeah. problem with, with the online thing. Yeah. I think, especially with young people, God, I sound old, 
but you know the, the whole like you said the frontal yeah. cortex thing you know there's not a lot of reason going on yeah. and what could this ha what could mm -hmm. go wrong mm -hmm. but this will be there in 20 years mm -hmm. somebody's going to find her friend mm -hmm. talking mm -hmm. about some crazy yeah. exploit yeah the digital tattoo in the cloud Ex that, you yeah know, that you can't get rid of i so. like that yeah did you make that up just did that's, that's, that's excellent <laughs> <laughs> copyright <laughs> no, that's very good so you know i think that for brenda that you know in in order to ha for her to feel less anxiety and overwrought about all of this it's not going to be a change in the behavior of her friend no it's not it's going to be a change in brenda yep and what brenda allows into her yeah. life and and you know and maybe some you know, easily accessible supports may may be found in you know in the community like you know mm -hmm. alanon definitely example, i mean you know yeah Al for those of you who don't know alanon and naranon are are two uh, sister brother fellowships to AA and NA and therefore people who are close to people in recovery or still mm -hmm. actively using and it's yeah so I think that that could uh, that that could help Brenda out a lot as Definitely. well as just you know um, being able to take a breath and a bit of a step away and then putting in some of these you know blocks like you talked about it, you know really was, I I get it you don't want to have a whole bunch of stuff that, you know, I mean, maybe Brenda's Facebook page is, you know, she uses that for sales. Yeah, I mean, she, know, I mean who she, knows what she does? She could be a yeah. lawyer, she could, could be yeah. something where yeah. these things would damage yeah. her. Yeah, or, or could, you know, be doing something with the government, could affect security clearance. Yeah. I mean, serious stuff. So, so I it is, But it is, it is Brenda's responsibility, right? I, you know, I mean, her friend is her friend and mm -hmm. she's doing what she's doing, yeah. but Brenda is the one who needs to say, yeah. A, a, stop tagging me, mm -hmm. B, you know, set those parameters yeah. so that she can't tag her on her, yeah. on her page. Yeah. Yeah. And then a the more general message, I think, that, you know, just, it, it's probably good for people to be aware in general just to mind their, uh, mind their digital habits, uh, particularly in early recovery, and not, not be so quick to broadcast everything to the world. Netiquette. Netiquette. That's Netiquette. It. All right. So I think we did it again. Take care of yourself first. <laughs> We're not going to fix our friends. Yes, we did. We've helped at least, hopefully, somebody. Um, so if you have a question, a comment... Uh, criticism, mm -hmm. or if you want to buy that red guitar right there, and I'm kidding, uh, doc rock, rock, I'm sorry, rock, rock doc recovery at gmail.com. Uh, All right. Send your stuff there. All right. That's great. All right. I'm Rock, and we are out. We're out. Oh, I'm Doc, and we're out again. Yeah, we're out. <laughs> <laughs> See ya.